we started, we started this fight two years ago. And this is a fight for democracy. And the hostages must be home now so we can keep continue to fight. This is the first step to heal the country. But I also want to raise this voice that we might not hear too much. That we might, might not hear too much. We are hearing the voices from the families in Israel who is demanding us to raise the voice to say that we need to stop the war to get the hostages now. And we have to do that and we have to get the help of other Jewish organizations to raise this voice. And when Netanyahu is coming on July 24th, we will be there to raise the voice. Because this is not just about saving Israel democracy, saving Israel, we have to fight to keep it a democratic state. And I want to finalize by saying that sitting on the fence and not fighting the messianic movement when we can, not taking stand against Netanyahu, who is cynically using the war for his own political survivors, Busha, is dangerous and must end. The people, hold on, uh, I am, uh, okay, I'm trying to show them. Uh, this is our obligation. Our people is worthy of it. Israel, which is a true miracle in our lifetime with all its faults, is worthy of it. Israel will be safe haven for all the Jewish people only if the Jewish and democratic, only as a, as a Jewish and democratic state, liberal state. Netanyahu and his messianic partners are tarnishing our reputation as people who live by humanistic val humanized values. A reputation that does not belong for, to him. We share the fate of our sisters and brothers in Israel and so we must share the work of repairing our homeland. The time has come to return all the hostages and the time has come to move beyond Benjamin Netanyahu and his messianic partners. We will share the work of Tikkun to make it happen. Thank you all for joining us in this sunny, sunny day. Thank you so much. Let's uh, sing the Tikva. Someone going to help me? You want to help me sing the Tikva? <laughs> Benima Nefesh Yehudi Homiya Ulfate Mizrach Kadima